Watch this before getting StreamYard. This is my honest review of using StreamYard for one full year. And I'm actually gonna jump in the tool and show you what I like about the tool. And then after that, I'm gonna tell you what I don't like about the tool. So like I told you, I got StreamYard about a year ago and I got it to do multiple things. It worked really well because what I could do is I could invite guests like right here. What you can do is invite guests by copying the link here and it will send it to people. And once they obtain that link on their phone or email or messenger, they can just click join and it plops them right into the stream. It's really, the interface is to die for. Like it, it feels like a Mac product. The studio to go live, to do live streams versus actually just record videos is exactly the same. So the learning curve is the same. Up here in the right hand corner, you just click on record and your recording starts. What's really cool is you can actually pause that. So you could save a lot of time on video editing because if you're playing it and you didn't want to record it, you can just pause it, go to the bathroom or do whatever come back, click play, and then just jump right back into the recording. That feature is really nice. And what I also love about StreamYard is it allowed me to share different things on my computer and I could just record this. Like if I do this YouTube screen here, see now I'm sharing this screen and I can do different layouts. I did, uh, I actually have a YouTube channel on doing reaction videos and I did reaction videos using StreamYard. That being said, I have an entire video on how to do reaction videos on StreamYard if you wanna check that out on the channel as well. And yes, it's possible to monetize a YouTube channel and get paid to do reaction videos. I have a smaller channel that earns like anywhere between like three to four hundred dollars a month just on repeat. And we can change the layout of this. I really like this because you could be doing like screen captures or just sharing a video. You can present, what else can we present here? You can present slides, an extra camera, a video file, or just anything on your computer desktop. What I also love about it is you can change the layouts, but not only that, but when somebody comments, like say if you're in a live stream, I can pop up their comment and like read it out loud. And their little emoji thing or gravatar or whatever you call it, their profile picture shows up with it and their name and their username which is really cool. Say if you're doing like a Twitch stream or something, you can be like, hey, Amanda said this, blah, 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 blah. And you can like talk about it. In the same fashion, you can just add custom banners. You can add a bunch of branding to it. You can change like the minimalist look to it. You can add your logos. Say if you want to do like a watermark, all the customization, everything's essentially there and it's really easy to learn. Now, one thing that I don't like is if I click on the settings tab here and if I go to the camera resolution and we go to the pricing plans, you can only record 720p videos on their free plan, just so you know. And for the core plan here, which is 25 bucks a month, you can do 1080p recording. But my biggest gripe or the biggest negative to StreamYard, to be able to record in 4K, you actually have to get this plan that's $49 a month. So that being said, it's a little bit costly if you wanna be recording 4K videos. But like myself, I was recording games and doing streams on gaming. So like I had no choice but to do that 4K plan and it was cost me like 49 or 50 bucks or whatever it is. And if you guys want more information on StreamYard or the pricing or if you wanna use my free trial with my affiliate link, I'll throw the link in the description. From one creator to another, you're just helping me out and I'm trying to help you guys out here by giving you my honest review on StreamYard. The best thing about StreamYard though is how easy everything is to use. Like this is the user dashboard right here and it's so easy. Like if I click on home, it asks me, you can create a live stream, create a recording or create a webinar. And if I click on library, these are all the previous recordings I've done, the destinations. This is what you like your social profiles that you add. You can add Facebook profiles, a LinkedIn, YouTube channel, X, Instagram, Twitch. So if live streaming is like the main thing that you're concentrating on, I feel like it's a great tool. Or if you're just trying to do like screen recordings, these are both great features. Let me show you how to set up a live stream. It's so easy. A lot of people don't know this, but with StreamYard, you can actually do pre-recorded videos as live streams. So you can shoot a video and then fully edit it however you want and then use StreamYard to rebroadcast it as a live stream. It's kind of like faking it that you're live. One setback though is your video has to be shown in 1080 because you can't stream in 4K. So if like quality is a huge deal, maybe you don't want to do it. And what's really cool here, we just add our destination for the live stream. You can title it, description, and what's really cool is you can schedule live streams and you can actually upload the thumbnail in here. So what I'm telling you here is StreamYard allows you to do everything. And my honest review on StreamYard is that it is the best streaming software service for streaming and screen recording. The biggest setback is the pricing structure that I told you about. But here's the thing, or most of us can only stream in 1080 anyway, so you don't need the craziest package. Maybe you wanna be doing 4K recordings, like the screen recordings and stuff like that, but if you're streaming, you don't need that package. I will say if you're specializing in high quality interviews to do like a podcast, I feel like StreamYard probably isn't the best option, but Riverside FM is. So I feel like if you're streaming, specializing in live streaming, StreamYard is probably the best option. If you're doing like high quality interviews for podcasting, Riverside FM is a little better. 
Both of these tools are at the top of their game. They just kind of specialize in different things. So hit me up in the comments. What are you guys looking for out of StreamYard? What kind of content are you producing? And don't forget, you can try StreamYard for free using my affiliate link in the description. I'm rooting for you guys. This is my honest review on StreamYard. Is it worth it? Yes. Consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one.